many cases, like you see me doing in here, we suppress the health metrics information that Curator provides. Very extensive, but some, you know, because it's very extensive and very talkative, sometimes it may, uh, may get in the way of all the things that we are looking. Let's use AQL to get all that meaningful health metric information. This AQL statement is going to give us all the metrics. Everything that, you know, where the log source has something similar to the word health metrics. So if we click here and perform that search, these are, you know, first page of the metric. There might be a few more. Here they are. So now we, we are going to dive in and get things about, you know, this usage and different type of metrics that might be very useful to monitor how your uh, curator appliances are doing. Let's take a look at this statement. We do a select host name, metric ID, and the average value uh, of the different elements. And in the case of the this is going to be the SDA, and the uh, CPU doesn't have that. Where the log source is anything coming from the health metric, and the metric ID is system CPU or this utilization and that gives us some rough measure. We're going to refine this uh, the searches but I want to go gradually to it. Let's take a look at the this usage okay when the metric ID is actually this usage. So these are the results actually if we compare that with doing the df command, we see that there is a match. For example, on store, we see that is 23%. That's precisely right. Uh, recovery, 65. Boot, 53. So, again, a programmatic way of monitoring the, the this usage. Uh, and this is for the Q, uh, curator. I can actually SSH into the QNI box and show you the same, but uh, you get the picture. Another example for the gigabytes uh, use, so we multiply that for 1024 three times, uh, di uh, divide the actual value by uh, 1024 three times, and we get the D space use. Let's say that we want to get one particular element of this. All we have to do is put an element equal and then put root uh, back, uh, slash forward slash not root or var log or whatever is it that you are uh, actually looking for. Another metric ID is uh, this space total. Yes, another interesting uh, set of metric IDs. Flow rate and event rate to determine the average of your EPSs and FPMs. And here you have them. In my demo system, this is, of course, very, uh, very small. But this is a good way of, uh, a good search to have, to monitor, uh, and again, getting an average of your EPSs and flows per minute. Let's use AQL to search for X4 information. So in this statement over here, we want the source IP and we want the actual uh, category uh, from uh, on, on this uh, table, a column called AP categories from event where the X-Force IP uh, category is not null. And here we find that, you know, there are some dynamic IPs and there are some span IP. These are the two categories that I have in my demo system from X-Force uh, uh, queries that uh, Curator has been feeding from. So here's another X-Force function call where we want the span information and where the confidence is greater than three and here we have them and here's one working 
with the uh, uh, URLs.